So hi everyone, as I said yesterday, um, I wanted to go ahead and just finish up the videos for this week, um, discussing more about uh, basically like backgrounds. Um, usually when you do a photo or a video, um, backgrounds are important. That's why I ended up getting a wall hang. That way nobody has to see the mess that is my bedroom. Um, and it just looks a little cleaner and it looks a little nicer. Um, you can use anything. You can use things that you have around the house, which I'll explain a little more in just a bit. They do sell pre-made flat lay backgrounds. Um, I've added um, examples of everything in the description below. And I'm also adding timestamps. So if you guys want to jump around and not have to sit through everything, I've added that as well. Um, but backgrounds can help photos and can help uh video of course and it, again it depends on what you're either using or what you're doing if you're taking a video or if you're taking a photo backgrounds can help and sometimes they can hinder as well if you're trying to um, use a heavily patterned background with something that may kind of fade into it that may not help um, but again, I am not the world's best photographer, but these are just suggestions, especially um, since I'm still in you're discussing the product reviewing and product um, testing. Sometimes photos are very, very important um, depending on what your requirements are and some brands or some sellers, depending on who you're working with, may be very picky at what you can have in a photo and what you cannot. Um, I've seen many um, many sellers or collaborators, shall I say, have had certain requests saying that you cannot wear certain things. For example, you can't have a shirt with a logo on it. You can't have any other products in the photo beside the product that you are using in your video or photos. Um, things like that. It has to be very brand specific. So that's why this is um, kind of something that correlates with all of that from this week and the continued series of um, discussion on Wednesdays about product reviewing and testing. So I hope you guys find this helpful and let's get started. Flat lay backgrounds are basically where you lay your objects flat or you lean it against something um, and you take your photo from above. Basically they do have uh, pre-made like boards that you can purchase um, but there's other options that you can use as well. So um, Let's start with those and I will be back. So let's talk about flat lay bathroom backgrounds using cloth. You can use any type of cloth. You can use a sheet. This happens to be a small wall hang that I have. Again, depending on what you're photographing, it may take away from your objects. You can also turn them over and if it's got a, a solid color back, this is actually a curtain panel, believe it or not. And I used it just for kind of to shake things up a bit. So as you saw, cloth really works well. You can use anything from a blanket to a sheet to that again was the floral printed pattern was a small wall hang that I have. Um, once again, it will depend on what you're photographing or what you're taking a photo of and or a video of. So it may distract the viewer or the person that's looking at the item um, from the actual product itself. If your cloth does have a solid background as the wall hang did, which is white on the back, um, that does work. Don't be me. Make sure, that, make sure that your stuff isn't as wrinkled before you use it. Um, it may just depend on the material as well. But I mean, flat lay, when you're using a cloth, you can use anything from a placemat to um, a tea towel, as long as it's clean. Um, I use sometimes, um, oh, uh, pillowcases because sometimes I have them and I just need a small section so that works uh, bath mats also work but I'll get into that later um, so let's keep going craft paper is another great use for a flat lay background it may just depend on exactly what you need or what option or what the sizing is of the item that you're taking a photograph of but I mean it's fairly simple and it's fairly easy and um, they sell it in different sizes and uh, um, weights as well. This was just an inexpensive little craft paper um, stuff that I found. So I mean, if you just need it for small items, it's perfect. So I'll be right back. So craft paper makes a very good flat lay background. 
Um, again, it may depend on what the pattern is of the paper and the size of the item that you are using in your photographs. Um, it works fairly well for those uh, paint brushes. And again, you can, if you are using any type of photo editing software, you can crop your photo to fit your needs as long as it still includes the item that you needed to have in your photo. Um, but I mean, craft paper is fairly inexpensive. Um, that happened to be just a bundle of craft paper I found at uh, my local like 99 cent store. So it just depends on where you can find it. Um, that is a thinner weight paper, however, but if you find cardstock or maybe foam, a certain type of foam board, that may work as well. Something you might not think about using is a cutting mat. You can find these anywhere. Um, you can find them for a reasonable price, usually under $10. I happen to pick these up, I think at like TJ Maxx for like $6.99. So they work really well and they add kind of a nice design to the background of the item, again, that you're going to be using for your photos. Um, and it works because, again, you can crop it to fit your needs. And they're reasonably inexpensive, so they fit everybody's budget. I know a cutting mat seems like a weird flat lay background but it's kind of neat because like that particular set of mats that I had was kind of like a textured design they as long as you use one that doesn't have um, for example like the ones that have the um, color coding that actually have the like vegetable or fish or cow or something like that stamped on it that's that these would be a really good idea um, and again, they're fairly inexpensive. You can purchase them at many stores. Um, and right now that we're heading into summer, they're probably gonna be available everywhere. Um, some of the ones too that work pretty well are the ones that are kind of more like decorative, like some that have pineapples or other stuff like that. Those might work too. It just, again, depends on what the design is and what you're going to be using it for or the style of the item that you're gonna be um, photographing. So again, you kind of have to think it out, but. I mean, that's something that fits everyone's budget. Another item would be shelf paper. Shelf paper is inexpensive. You can also use shelf liner as well, depending on the thickness. But I mean, it's fairly easy to use. You can just roll out the portion that you need and put your uh, product down on it. And it works really well. So shelf paper is pretty inexpensive. Um, those two rolls of shelf paper, I think I found again, like at the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. I don't need it to be extremely durable. I just need it for when I need it for photos. So I even, um, last year I created a flat lay background using shelf paper. So I'll um, go ahead and uh, add that video in a card so you guys can see how to make one. It's fairly easy. But I mean, it's something that's inexpensive. You can roll it back up when you're done with it and you know put it away so it doesn't take up a lot of space. So hanging backgrounds come in handy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, especially if you're filming in a room or if you're filming in an area that may be cluttered, it kind of helps keep the hide the clutter, shall we say. Um, and it just kind of occasionally makes it look a little nicer. So I came up with some ideas or I found out some ways that you can use different things that you have around the house for a um, background. This would work if you have a metal door or even if you're filming for instance like in a hallway or if you have a doorway and you can use a tension rod um, or some sort of like maybe if you have an old um, shower curtain rod that you can actually stick into the jam, size it to the jam and then hang your wall hang onto it. You don't necessarily have to use hooks. You can use any types of like clamps or um, uh, binder clips work if your hook is, if your, um, your rod isn't very thick. So I mean it, it just, you can improvise on what you need. But basically it's kind of makes it a little nicer when you're doing videos and just makes it look a little cleaner as well. So I have a metal door out in my studio and I found out that with the aid of some industrial magnets, I could use a single curtain panel that I had that I had no real use for um, as a background. So it's very easy. You just kind of add your magnets that, where they can hold the panel. And as you can see, it gives you kind of a nice background. Um, it's fairly easy to do and it was free. 
a sheet or a lightweight blanket would also work. Again, I used industrial magnets and um, attached it to my studio door. And um, I also hung it slightly from a uh, storage uh, rack that I have. And this is just another example of what it would look like. And it's just kind of helpful because it gives you, again, um, a solid colored background or just kind of takes away the clutter. That's what it looks like when I actually hung it from the um, storage shelf. So it works if you just have extra space or if you just kind of want to cover some stuff up. So as you can see, those are basically some easy examples that you can use um, for a hanging background. Again, you can also purchase a wall hang. You just kind of have to measure the size that you'll that you may need um, or for the area that you would like to cover or just include as your background. Um, again, it may just vary depending on what you're photographing or if you're taking a video and things like that. So I have some final thoughts and I will be right back. So basically my final thoughts were this. Um, you'll have to really think about what you're going to be um, photographing again and what um, if you're doing a video, things like that. Any types of um, contrast to the item that you will be, again, photo photographing or using in your video and just simple stuff like that. Um, other options that you can use if you have stuff at home are um, bath mats for flat lays. I have one um, and uh, just simple things that you can find again around the house. Um, you don't have to necessarily break the bank. So it's just stuff that you can use that you have on hand and it's just easier. It kind of cuts down on excess spending and extra clutter. Um, and especially if you're like me, you don't have a lot of space. Everything kind of goes into like a little storage bin or um, a little plastic container. So then that way you know where everything is. So I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry it was so long, but I did add timestamps as I mentioned at the beginning and hope everybody has a good day. Bye.